Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, whatever it is for you. If you're new here, I really hope that you like this video and subscribe and keep coming back because I would love to get to know all of you better. So today I'm going to be getting ready with you guys and showing you my go-to eye makeup look. I am a self-taught makeup artist and I've been doing makeup since, oh, like grade nine, at least half decent makeup. <laughs> So I have just, I guess, uh, improved my skill over the years and I, for a while there, did weddings for like two summers, I think. I did weddings and grads and stuff like that. And since moving to Texas, um, I have stopped doing that because I had to get rid of a bunch of my supply that I had, like makeup tools and brushes and whatnot, just because we don't have the room for it in the camper. So it's been a minute since I've done makeup for someone else, but yeah usually for this look i start by putting tape on my face which is really not good for you it can cause premature aging and i am not about that but there's really no other option because this look requires it so i just try to do it really light on the skin you know so that it's not like pulling when i pull it off but yeah the chemicals in tape are not good for your skin but so i'm using lime life by alcone foundation put a little bit of a base on there. I'm just using my finger because I'm just used to it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using this palette. I'm probably not allowed to say this word on YouTube, but it has really nice neutrals. The first shade that I start with is, it's called Blowout. I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, so please bear with me as I learn how to talk and do my makeup at the same time because I'm just not used to doing this at all. So I guess something we could talk about while I do my makeup is my life story. <laughs> I don't know what else. I was born and raised in southern Manitoba, Canada. I went to a super small school. It probably had like 150 people for grades K through six. That should tell you how small it really was. And then in middle school, I had to transfer schools obviously because it was just K through six. So I went to a different town to go to school because I grew up in a very tiny village. Like there was probably, I wanna say like maximum four to 500 people that lived in the village that I lived. So there was like hardly anything there. Like there wasn't even a store there at least not for very long. There was a store, but it shut down when I was pretty young. So there's no major cities really in Manitoba at all other than Winnipeg. So it's just like a bunch of small towns. This whole YouTube thing is definitely going to be an interesting process, okay? It just will be. So bear with me. <laughs> I feel like my growing up story is just kind of boring because it's the classic like small town nothing really major type of story i'm just gonna cut my crease now with this concealer after graduating i didn't know what i wanted to do so i never went to post-secondary school because i was just really bad at school i did not get good grades i skipped all the time I just didn't give a rip about school because I just knew that I wouldn't really need to. I just knew from a young age that I was just gonna take a different path in life and so far it hasn't been wrong. I mean, one day I might go back on my words and surprise you guys and actually go to school, but like who knows. As of right now and up until this point, I haven't felt the need to go get more of an education for the first few years after graduating I just worked on I had moved out when I was 19 I graduated when I was 17 and I moved out when I was 19 and then I was working at a gas station and then I got a different job more of a real career type of job in insurance so I did that for a pretty long time and I got that job in February right before the pandemic so in 2020 and that was super good because I never had to work in customer service. I was super blessed with the timing of getting that job because it was just an office job. Like I didn't have to do any customer service other than over the phone. So that was super nice, super, super nice. And I honestly loved that job. It was one of those jobs that's just super chill. I was by far the youngest person in my department. And then my husband and I decided, you know what? You should just try Texas. 
he was born here and he moved to Canada when he was two, I believe. So he had always wanted to come back. We do not regret it. I know that there's a lot of people that have filed for immigration to the States since the pandemic, especially. Okay, this is basically my whole eye look that I do. And then I just take the tape off. It's just super basic, but at the same time, kind of fancy. I know that I didn't explain very well what I was using, but I hope that you guys saw everything that I was doing and you can kind of put it together in your own minds. <laughs> I always tight line. I didn't know that it was called tight lining until it became like a popular thing on TikTok, but basically you just use classic influencer with the hand behind the product, put it on your waterline up here. I really need to sharpen this. It was like fully poking my eyeball. Where is my sharpener? My sharpener, my sharpener. I hit the gym today. I had my rest day yesterday. Today is Thursday, so I went back. On Tuesday, I did glutes, and today I did glutes again, even though they were still sore because I have no butt. Actually, that's a lie. I have a cute butt, but like it's small, so it needs to be bigger. I'm using these lashes that I got on Amazon. I don't know the brand, but they're pretty nice. Sometimes I'll heat up my curler with the lighter. I'm feeling a little bit lazy today. Wow, this is pretty just with mascara too. This is just one coat. I use the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive Glue. That's what it looks like. I wouldn't say it's anything to rave about, but me. It's okay. I wore these yesterday, so I already cut them. I really hope my mirror doesn't die. I have a Ricky Skinny. That's what I'm using. I feel like I have to focus so much when I'm putting lashes on. There. What do you guys think? I think that looks so good. You guys see why this is my go-to eye look? It's like a full glam, but also natural. Lashes really make it like a bigger deal than it is. Now I have to remember what brushes I used for what. I love how this palette's shades blend together so nicely. I use this palette all the time. I'm just blending this out with that lighter shade that I was using before. We're gonna coat the crease. I did that way longer than the other side. Well, I will blend it out. I really have to drink more water. I try to drink a gallon a day and I feel like I miserably fail every day. I'm working on it. You can't have it stack everything all at once, right? There. All done. What do you guys think of my go-to makeup look? I think this is too much lighting. I'm gonna finish the rest of this off camera. I'm sorry that that was like kind of boring. I'm working on it, okay? I'm new to this YouTube thing. I'm gonna get better. Just bear with me. So if you do bear with me, I appreciate that so much. I promise my content is gonna get better. I promise I'm gonna get better at talking while doing things. <laughs> but um, if you like this and you're gonna attempt it, then DM me on Instagram and send me a photo of your makeup look. I would love to see it. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!